Okay, so here's yet another exam type question. In this question, they tell us that a ballistics manufacturer, don't worry if you don't know what it is all about, they're not quest, uh, questioning you on what is a ballistics manufacturer. So just relax and read through the question and stick to the maths. Okay, so they say a ballistics manufacturer is designing the head of a new missile. Cool. Uh, the following diagram illustrates the cross section of the head of the triangular central shaft coated with another material forming a parabola okay so here they say that's now apparently the the missile okay here we go the cross section of a missile and it's coated with another material that forms a parabola okay now again don't worry if you didn't get this whole statement let's just go and look at the question don't be intimidated um, we must the equations of the parabola, that's F, um, and two straight lines, the straight lines is line G and line H, okay, need to be stored in the machinery. Okay. They're talking about equations and we know how to do equations and forget about the machinery part. Determine these equations and write down the domain of H, okay. So we're going to determine the equations of F of G and of H and write down the domain of H. Okay, so let's start with the equation of F. It is a parabola and we know and we can see on this the parabola's turning point. There's the turning point of the parabola and that's when we know which formula to use. For a parabola where we know the turning point and any other point, in this case it goes through the origin 0, 0 then we know that we can use this equation if x is equal to a x minus p where p is the center line is the center line and that's 5 squared plus q and q is either the maximum or minimum depending on the parabolas turning um, at the top or at the bottom this one obviously has a maximum it never goes past 8 so q is going to be 8 so let's just substitute that if we already know that we can substitute it fx is equal to a x minus k okay, we know is 5 p the center line that's the symmetry line there is at 5 squared plus and we know q to be 8 there we go we're not finished yet because we still need a okay a is the form constant and one way of finding A is kind of looking, if I go one step forward, how many steps do I go up or down? One step forward and I go three steps up. Okay, so A is actually three, but let's say you didn't think that far. How can I find A? Well, another way of finding A is to just substitute a point. We have in here the point zero comma zero because zero comma zero lies on the function F. So we replace it with zero, A, x is also replaced with 0 because x and y is 0 minus 5 squared plus 8 and what do we get well we get that a times negative 25 squared is just uh, negative 5 squared is 25 I mean 8 goes to the other side becomes negative 8 okay uh, then if I solve for A, I divide with a 25 on both sides and I find that if I do that, I find A is equal to negative 8 over 25. Okay, so that if we were to write down the full equation for Fx, Fx is equal to negative 8 over 25 x minus 5 plus 8 and that we can go enter here now because we've worked out what a x minus p plus q so a we worked out is negative 8 over 25 okay x minus 5 and plus 8 there we go now for gx and H 
Okay, so for g, there we see there's the function g. Okay, and uh, we see it's a straight line. So g will take on the format and h as well of mx plus c. Okay, can we find m, which is the gradient? Okay. Of, uh, let's call it mg since there's two m's okay here we see here here it goes this gradient goes f between we can use a formula and that formula is change of y over change in x what that simply means is how many steps do I go forward and how many steps do I go up? Obviously up is change in Y. So up is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps up. Okay, that's my change in Y. Since I'm going up, it's positive. And how many steps do I go forward? One, two, three, four, five. So here we go. I go five steps forward and eight steps up. And there I go, I have my gradient. Okay, so we know that g x is equal to 8 over 5 x plus c. And what is c? Well, c is the y intercept. And here we can clearly see it intercepts at 0. So c is simply 0. I'm not going to waste more time if it is 0. Okay, let's try the next one. Okay, we've done G, now we go H. H, same business, H is equal to MX plus C. Okay, this time M is in the negative direction. We can see H goes downwards. Okay, but let's still use our formula. M for H is going to be change of Y over change in X. Okay, to go from this point to that point, I go one, two, three, four, five steps forward and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps down. That means since I'm going down, my change in Y is negative. Negative eight steps down and five steps forward. Okay, that gives me again a new function or a function actually for H of negative eight over five X plus C. This time we can't just read off C because it doesn't cut the y-axis where we can read it off. Okay, So we are going to have to take any points on the line and just substitute it. There's two points we can substitute. Here we have the point negative, uh, sorry, 0, um, f uh, 10 for x and 0 for y or 5 for x and 8 for y. So whichever one you choose would be fine. I'll choose to substitute uh, 0 for y and 10 for x. So y is 0 and I've got negative 8 over 5 times 10 plus c and that actually gives me an answer for c of if you simplify this you get negative 8 um, and that goes into itself once and into twice and so negative 8 times 2 is 16 negative 16 so that if I add a 16 on both sides C will be 16 makes sense it's going up okay it should continue to go up and eventually cut at 16 which means that my HX function is the negative 8 over 5 X plus 16 let's go input those values I just said this one is negative 8 over 5 x plus 16 okay how about g we did is 8 over 5 okay do you notice it's got the same gradient but in opposite directions the one is going upwards and the other one is going downwards it's got the same steepness as you can see same steepness but in opposite directions okay and the one cuts at 16 and the other one would intersect at 0 Okay, now what is the domain of H? Well, if we consider the domain, here's H. The domains are all the values of X that is being allowed in here. And you can see that H stops at this point, which means that H, the, the X values, which is what we talk about for domain, the X values for H goes from 5 and then it ends at 10. So... 
x is an element starting at 5 and ending at 10 and this time it is included oh sorry wrong brackets for included okay closed brackets because both of those values are included so if we type that in we type it as 5 and this time for the calculate for the computer input we use a comma in South Africa when you're writing you use a semicolon okay but computers don't recognize that when we're doing um, intervals or um, things like that here we're putting an interval as from 5 to 10 let's just preview it there we see closed interval from 5 to 10 x is an, uh, an element of one of those values well done you try it